It probably took less than a half hour, actually. Yeah, probably. But why do we have these? <laughs> The guys working next door are the most cheerful construction guys I've ever heard. Hopefully I can catch them. Earlier one of them was whistling like the same tune over and over again. <laughs> he just did it. Okay, listen. Of course they stop when I start recording. I have no idea what they're saying but they must they must all be hilarious because they're all just cracking up. It looks like they're working quickly, so that's good. Hopefully the loud part's over before the babies are here. <laughs> I'm glad to see him eating. Like a half an hour ago, he threw up pretty much everything he's had to eat today so far. Felt bad for him. Luckily it was on the hardwood floor, so. But it looks like he's feeling okay. And this year's award for the earliest wrapping of <laughs> presents goes to the Engelbarts family. I bet we're not the earliest. I don't know. It's going to be pretty close. I like doing solid paper. Especially just like this pack. Like, what do you call this? Yeah, packing paper. Packing paper. Yeah. You just get it like at Walmart in the packing section. And then you can put really neat ribbon on it like this make it really festive and then everything kind of matches without being perfectly matchy so that's usually what I go for. Go us! I know. Wow this is loud. That is definitely your color. Is this inside out? No. Oh, it it's a cowl neck. Jeez it looks like it fit me. <laughs> Gosh, that's not good. Did you know it was going to be this long? No. <laughs> I guess they think better too long than too short because you can always hem it. Yeah, well, you only have like two days to get it hemmed. I, I have a sewing machine. Uh, do you know how to hem? Of course. You do? This material? No. <laughs> I guess that's what YouTube is for. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> It'll look pretty though. Yeah, what will it look pretty in? Hmm. Our maternity pictures that we're doing this Sunday. Mm. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! <laughs> I didn't really want to do maternity pictures, but we decided we have a friend that is a <laughs> photographer. He, ma he majored in photography in college. So I have no idea if he knows how to like pose a pregnant couple, but I have some ideas on Pinterest that I've put together so you need to share that board with me too by the way I will cool so we impose ourselves if needed I just feel like it's gonna look really awkward we just really want we just want somebody to come snap the pictures put them on a disc for us and if we like them we might print one and then we'll have them forever exactly but I'm just not really excited of having pictures of myself in this which is crazy because stage of life gorgeous and beautiful oh, and everybody agrees the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me well yeah. Um, so yeah, we're doing that Sunday at like sunset and then we'll have some maternity pictures. I feel like I can check that off the list. The photographer that's photographing our babies does a maternity shoot, like includes it in the price of, or it's supposed to be free, but she is very far away, four and a half hours. I'm not supposed to be traveling that far right now anymore, ever. So <laughs> ever, ever while you're pregnant. It's dramatic. Yeah. So she offered to come down here if we like prepaid for the pictures, but the pictures that she does are fantastic, amazing, beautiful. They're like, I mean, probably the least package we could buy would be a grand. And I just don't want to spend a grand on photos of myself right now. So we'll have this guy do it and we'll have some pictures and I'll wear this really long dress. It can drape on the ground too. Yeah, yeah it'll work. 
Okay, I don't feel like I can be blamed for this. I don't feel like I'm at fault. I concede that the babies have plenty of clothes. Like they're gonna be well outfitted until they're probably six or eight months old. But we received a couple of outfits for them as a gift. And they were the zero to three month size, which we have a ton of. So I went into Carter's just to exchange them for maybe the next size up or even a size bigger than that. And everything in the store is 50% off. Like what am I supposed to do? Just like not get anything? So I was thinking, like I feel like they'll be here by Christmas. If they are, I don't have anything remotely Christmassy for them to wear. So, and with everything being 50% off, I just couldn't not, you know, be prepared. So, this will be their like formal Christmas outfits. This is really cute. It's like a onesie with snaps and a little dress. And they're in the newborn size. Like if they get here mid-December, I feel like they'll fit into the newborn size. Or at least it will make it work. And then for him, these are little corduroy pants that go with this vest and a gray onesie. Nope, it's not a onesie, it's just a shirt. Maybe not practical. He's gonna freak out when he sees that I bought them more clothes. That's one excited dog. Why aren't you that excited to see me? I know, and you're the second act. Like, <laughs> Rusty. Okay, moving on. They're crazy. Uh, this says, Sparkle all the way. It's got a little tutu on it. That's gotta be for like a three month old, isn't it? No, a newborn. What? Newborn size. Dang, that looks I big. I know, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Hi. Here. Make some chapstick. Oh. And then I took the pants off of this one because <laughs> they have a little reindeer. This would be for him to go with her sparkle all the way outfit. And last but not least, PJs. <laughs> They're funny PJs. I wish. They're so cute. So anyway, couldn't pass that stuff up. Hey Rach. Hey Brad. Will you simulate getting up six times a night every night to pee? <laughs> I think you should. It's hard for me to get down and get back up. <laughs> I gotta pee. That last part is the loudest. Like slowly sit down and then... <laughs> Rusty wants to help. Anyway. <laughs> hey, that sounds dirty. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, but because Rachel has gotten up a lot to pee, during the night, we've really noticed that our bed squeaks really loud all the time. Uh, we've had this box spring. We've actually switched spots too, because I normally sleep on this side and Brad sleeps on this side, but this side's so much closer to the bathroom, so I'm now sleeping on this side, and I think this side's even louder. Yeah. Or I'm just heavier now. Our mattress is actually fairly new. We got it this year from Tufted Needle, but the box spring we actually inherited it from your old tenant. Mm -hmm. So the box spring has to be at least five, six years old. Oh, at least. At least. Uh, so we thought it was time to go ahead and replace the box spring. So we got a steel of a steel. We got a steel of a steel. Steel of a deal. Box spring. So it, act, it doesn't actually have any springs in it. So it should be much quieter. So it'll be my task. Rachel needs a, or Rachel. Rusty needs a dessert deck. <laughs> has the ears uh, so it'll be my task to go ahead and put that together right now. And it's all metal, right? Yeah, it's all metal, so it shouldn't be squeaky. Right. Cool, I'm excited. I'm excited for you to get some better quality of sleep. It really it hasn't bothered me. Rachel's the one that. I just feel bad. It's just so loud. 
Generally, when we give rusty pills, we put it on peanut butter. Uh, but today, it's going on hummus and a Ritz cracker. That looks Sit gross. Out, Shake. <laughs> he has such a refined palate. Like a champ. <laughs> I think we could just hand him a pill and he would inhale it. I think so, too. Hmm. By the way, some of our viewers, oh my gosh, the counter's an absolute mess. Ignore that. Some of our viewers were worried about us calling this a manger. <laughs> I think there might be a difference in, a, in language because this is a manger for us. Like if you Google nativity manger, you get like this whole deal. But I guess sometimes the crib that he actually slept in was a manger. But in our song, it says, away in a manger, no crib for a bed. So I would argue that this is the manger, the other thing's the crib. Oh, it turned the lamp on. <laughs> Did it? Mm-hmm. Nice. That's a lot of parts. It's as easy as one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's see how long this takes. Such a good helper. Got my butt crack sticking out. Now that I can see. <laughs> it's just me and 14 and a half thousand other people. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming together quickly. Brad said a half hour. We started at 426 and it is 442. Almost at the 20 minute mark. Yeah, we'll be done. Really? Oh, yeah. Alright. Happy holidays! So at 424, Brad said that we'd be done with this in a half an hour. What time is it now? You're hilarious. What time is it? You are hilarious. It is 616. And it doesn't really look like any progress has been made. <laughs> it looks pretty much the same. We're maybe halfway done. Typical. Just kidding. Well, not just kidding. That's real. Our car that I hit the deer with, if you haven't seen that vlog, it'll be linked in the iCard up here. Uh, it just got done being repaired. So it has been in repair for three weeks. Uh, yeah, three, Th three, weeks it, three weeks it took them to get everything repaired from hitting that deer. So they finally just finished it up. They called us and they were closing in 15 minutes and said that we could come pick it up. <laughs> yeah. But the thing was like we had a rental car that's paid for during the time that they're repairing the car. So there was a good chance that if we didn't go ahead and return it and return our rental car, we would have been on the hook for those two days. I feel like I'm in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to do you have to do this. We have to look into each other's eyes and then at the same time. Oh, I forgot to pan up. Dang it. We'll get it next time. <laughs> so <laughs> so anyway, we had to like run stop what we were doing, run, pick up the car, return the rental car, put gas in it so that they didn't charge us four hundred dollars a gallon, and now we're back. Let's finish this. It probably took less than a half hour actually. Yeah, probably. But why do we have these? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully those are extra. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Irie? Looks pretty solid. Yeah, real solid. I'm excited. It's only $130 on Amazon, so. Yep. Can't beat that. Done. And it has this nice cover. And I actually really like this bed skirt. We just got it a couple months ago probably. Yeah. But it's elastic and it goes around the frame so that when you take it off or put it on like when you wash it you don't have to take the whole mattress off you just stretch it over and the back of it is just this elastic so I love it I'll link that below Ta -da! Iris you look like a throw pillow Iris wow that is crazy Oh my gosh, I totally expected to hear a crunch. Nothing. Wow. That's amazing. Huh, do it again. We've never had a quiet bed. We'd never have. Ever. Oh my gosh. That's great. 
That is great. Wow. Do it again. Look at that. That's silent. Did you hear me get up? We're not even editing this. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's awesome. Impressive. Thanks, Amazon. Yay. Aw. Oh, thanks. She just lick your forehead. Yes. What do you think? You like it? Iris approved. And there's our old creaky box springs. Well, we figured out the problem. This was made in 1938. <laughs> Not gonna miss that. No. You go to the dump. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Well, <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal. There we Maybe go. Maybe we're not meant to do a sign off. Okay, there we go. All right, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow us on our journey. We are within six weeks of meeting our baby. So if you're not, so already, not already subscribed, now would be a good time. And hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. All right, have a great rest of the weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.